Okay, hi everyone. So today let's uh, discuss one interesting problem. So it says uh, when water droplets merge to form a bigger drop. Fine. So let's say initially, initially, our pass n number of water droplets hai, something like this. Is tarah se n number of water droplets hai, and the uh, surface area. Hai, let's say the first wala droplet is the surface area a1, hai, a2, hai, iska, iska a3, hai, and up to dash dash is the an. Hai. Then uh, initial surface area, total initial surface area of the liquid will be a1 plus a2 plus a3 up to dash dash an. And finally, ये जो water droplets हैं, ये merge हो जाते हैं to form a single drop. Then ये जो drop है, इसका जो surface area है, let's say capital A. Then we can say जो final surface area of the liquid होगा capital A, that will be lesser than the initial surface area of the liquid. आप ये जो property है, ये mathematics से proof भी कर सकते हो. है ना? With the help of maths, we can prove this property. But uh, that is not the point here. Now, see, we have to that the initial surface area, initial total surface area is higher. It means initial total surface energy will be higher. Initial surface energy, that is, you can say initial potential surface energy, will be higher than final surface energy. Right? It means, kuch energy, kuch surface energy release ho jayega. Hana? We can say कुछ energy liberate हो जाएगा जब ये जो water droplets हैं ये एक single drop form करेंगे तो कुछ energy liberate हो जाएगा that's why जो final surface energy है that is lesser than initial surface energy now ये जो energy liberate होगा या फिर release होगा atmosphere में ये किस form में होगा maybe heat के form में हो जाए so in that case we can say कि यहाँ पे let's say initial temperature is Ti and final temperature of this liquid drop is Tf then Tf will be lesser than Ti right so I think you have understood let me know if you still have any confusion we can discuss further okay let's keep working out best of luck